Hi guys. This is going to be the second part of fragility exhibition. In this part, I'll walk through two rooms, uh, together with Roman Trachimovitz, by the way, and we'll also talk to Darina and Lisa, and they are the creators of this exhibition. They are just amazing guys you gotta listen to this also guys all of those pictures could be bought and uh, the prices are they are just too small this picture for example costs only 4000 rinas which is a bit more than 100 dollars around 105 dollars i would say you will see this picture in the video but i propose you and i will do it <laughs> to auction it on a sunday stream I already agreed with uh, Lisa, they reserved this picture for us to put it on the auction, so the starting price is going to be $105. That's it, and yeah, here's the announcement. The picture is amazing, I would actually like to buy it myself, but um, I'd better spend those money for hospitaliere. You know guys that they, with these pictures, 50% of uh, money are going to uh, the author and the other 50 are going to the fundraiser for the Avstrika, so called. Uh, this is the evacuation bus, um, actually, medical bus. Yeah, it costs almost 2 million hrivnas. They are raising funds for the new one because they need more. And Lisa and Darina are helping them with that. So that's it, guys. Um, that's the video. Please enjoy it. And I see you on Sunday. Uh -huh. Guys, this is gonna be awesome. No, this is not awesome. This is just well, that that's art. Uh, so that is very hard to watch, to be honest. But it is very uh, must see. I also have mics, but I forgot to put them on me and Roman. But <laughs> I probably will continue like this. There are a lot of pictures of hearts, uh, you know, hearts of our defenders who are stuck there in Russian captivity. And they could stop any minute, you know. Well, not streaming, just recording the video this time. <laughs> no stream? No stream, no. It's really strange. <laughs> Sometimes a break should have a rest. This one, this one is amazing. It's so symbolic. And look at this one. Damn. That's so cool that this handsome fella joined me today. I'm really happy to to see you, bro. <laughs> As always, in real life. Yeah. <laughs> because this is way better with the communication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this roundy, beautiful uh, Palanitsa, I think. Is... Oh, you say it right. Yeah, of it's course, of course. Without insult. <laughs> Palanitsa. Palanitsa. <laughs> Не, вони лі не можуть казати, вони кажуть паланіца. Вони тверді звуки знають. Це паланіца. Це ви їх це і змушували казати? Did you make them say паланіца at the beginning of the full scale invasion? Not 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 lately, right? Yeah, not lately because then we only capture Wagner's or from Storm Z and uh, they can't say it at all. And it was obvious that it was the Russian prisoners. Mm -hmm. Look at these pots. Uh, there's no actually. Uh, did you see this picture? Yeah. I've never. That's very impressive. So. Uh huh. Uh, I would say it is very uh, meaningful and heavy also. Definitely. There's also a sculpture here, guys. Uh, it is called Minliva, changeable. 
I like the, the meaning of it. I mean, like the symbolism. Also, some porcelain here with spoons. This exhibition is definitely worth watching. I'm happy that you are here with me. Um, untitled, this one is untitled. But I guess you can see the steel here, the coal of Donbass Mines, and of course the colors of blue and yellow. And for me, this white color, this white dark color is representing the snow in winter there. Uh, covered in ash and in some gunpowder. Yeah, probably that's it. Okay, I'm gonna put this on pause for a minute and go to the next room. Yeah, there's one picture in the corridor. Uh, Roman recommended me not to miss it. This one is called We Are From Powerful and Independent Ukraine 2022. You can walk, that's no problem. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Hello guys, uh, what is your name? Uh, my name is Darina. Darina. Uh, she will be speaking Ukrainian, uh, but she will tell uh, us the story. Uh, a sad one, uh, but I'm gonna translate it later, as uh, Darina said me, told me. Okay. Thank you. Я повністю вас розумію і в цьому підтримую. Тому якщо можете розказати більше про та хоч, хоч про кожну картину, я буду вам вдячний. Let's, let's begin with this one. Так, ця картина називається «Тунель» і у всіх питання, тобто вона цікава. Але я думаю, що ніхто з нас не бачить цю тунель. Так, тунель, так. Uh, hard... сказати, що вона нас не живуче в сталі. Це зроблено з стейнлес стіл. Uh, and it is called tunnel, uh, and uh, it's Daria or Darina? Darina. Darina uh, tells me that um, actually it's hard to see the tunnel on it, and hmm, let me try. <laughs> I don't think I see the tunnel. Okay, uh, you can continue because I'm taking too much time on this. Um, I will translate the story, I think I will put subtitles. I think that's the best way to do it. Let's move to the next one. Так, ця картина створена спеціально для цієї виставки. І я не знаю, чи ви можете перекласти тут ці надписи. Як на мене, вона якраз, як це сказати, атмосфера на мене цієї виставки. Uh -huh. Wow, yeah, that's actually, um, this is about uh, internally displaced people, uh, which I am one of them, by the way, since 2014, then 2019, 2022, I'm, and yeah, I'm hoping someday to get back uh, home. And I believe in it, not just hoping. <laughs> um, let's, I will translate these words a bit later. Uh, thank you. Let's move to this one. Thank you. Aha, the soul of Ukraine, warrior. Yeah, this one is the soul of Ukraine, warrior. Uh, 
І трохи пізніше вони будуть зроблені рамочки по моїм батькам. Mm-hmm. Darina's father will make uh, the frames for this picture soon. Amazing. Okay, this one is called Connection. Mm. Pretty symbolic. Мені подобається її Ну, не те, щоб не довершеність, але просто ці вривки, тобто такі робочі моменти. Uh-huh. Е- і також на цій картині була рамочка, згодом ще буде, ми ще вирішували, чи обрізається рука в чи ні. І я сказала, що це має таки залишитись всіма цими порубленими матеріалами і так далі. Uh-huh. Е- бо, я думаю, що так і має. Це картина іноземного художника. Так, він побачить українського біженця. Ну, насправді, це називається просто біженець, але ми підозрюємо, що український біженець був позаду кольори прапору України. Вау, гайз, this one is called Refugee and uh, Matt Cecil. Uh, what country he is from? З якої країни? Здається, з Великої Британії. It seems that uh, the author is from Great Britain, and... but that's not uh, the... Hmm, correct or exact informa- information, I forgot the word. Uh, my English is not perfect also. <laughs> so um, that's how he sees the refugee. Uh, but Darina says that uh, she thinks that it's a Ukrainian refugee because we see yellow and blue behind it. Mm-hmm. So this one is hidden behind the TV, uh, okay? Uh, but uh, we can get closer to it. Just let me get beneath the TV and I will show it. <laughs> Okay, guys, here it is. It is called Isolation, uh, the Death of Freedom. Wow, that's amazing. Condemption, Camp in Donetsk, Russian Terror. Uh, who's the author? Let me check. Aziza Eskender. Uh, where, where is she from? The author. Zvitki uh, author cartoon. Yeah, I, I've noticed uh, the porcelain and... Wow. Well, these... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All of this, uh, I don't know the word for posud, okay, uh, but this porcelain and these spoons and forks, they are from the ruined, uh, destroyed buildings, destroyed by Russians. Roman, come inside, join me. <laughs> Roman's wandering around. Uh, I hope you're not bored yet by me uh, taking so much time. But Darina is telling such an amazing things about every picture. And she is actually um, given a good tour. Maybe you'll stay for, for the... Yeah, this is awesome. I'll, I'll watch this uh, whole uh, video on your YouTube channel. So, <laughs> because I missed some part of the exhibition and explain explanation mm-hmm. but we're not done yet let's go uh, so that one was made by wow. uh-huh. Uh-huh, amazing. Uh, which one is also from her this one uh, so the author of that picture guys of that one uh, behind the TV uh, is from uh, Crimea she's a Crimean Tatar and this one is also her picture uh, I'm from Florida, no. <laughs> uh, no, no, every country in the world who... Okay. Yeah, uh, he was just joking. Uh, he, he was joking. Look at my serious face. <laughs> <laughs> яких е, за сфабрикованими справами засуджують і їх е, етапують дуже далекі райони Росії. Mm-hmm. Е, це розлучає сім'ї, і дуже багато дітей кримських татар ростуть без батьків. І їхні дружини змушені там декілька днів їхати потягом для того, щоб позабачити своїм чоловіком. Mm-hmm. І все це тому тільки тому, що вони кримські татари, тобто вони не зробили жодних злочинів. Просто Росія mm-hmm. таким чином... And genocide. Uh, 
Uh, what about this one in the corner? Uh -huh, that's a Russian world, guys. You can see how it looks, yeah. Destruction, blood, in, and smoke. That's actually what, what Russia brings. You know that, my friend. Russian world. Uh, I prefer Russian world, but... Uh, mm -hmm, that's a play of words, yeah. Uh, there are more meanings in uh, Russian or Ukrainian than in, you know... In foreigner's language? Yeah, foreigner's <laughs> language. English. Okay, I forgot the, the name of this. Uh, okay, let's move to this one. Yeah, guys, this one is called Bread, and Darina thinks that it is very um, similar to what uh, Russian imprisonment means. Uh, you see the bread, you see the scale, and you see the box, and it's pretty small, I would say. I'll stop it on that. Uh, just let me make a quick pause and try something. So we put the mics, uh, it should be better now. Let's go to the next picture. This one is called I am alive, right? Right. It's also a Crimean Mm-hmm. That's also a picture of Crimean Tatar painter. And <laughs> Roman, every time Roman is entering the room, uh, it uh, creaks, uh, the, the floor creaks, and he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so uh, these two words is I am alive. Uh, and you see, I am still alive, and it is called captivity. So uh, that's the same Aziza Eskender from, um, yeah, from Crimea. That's so sad what uh, Crimean people have to go through because yep. of Russia. It's a photograph of Polonenich, National Guard, which is dedicated to this exhibition. As you can see, it's a photograph of the past, which shows that living in a Russian prison is not easy. And in fact, we can't tell a lot of stories. Бо багато ще полонених там, і це може зашкодити їм. Mm -hmm. Але ви можете собі уявити весь жах цієї ситуації, і це дуже бісить, бо е, всі щось говорять про якісь Женевські конвенції і так далі, про якесь там правильне утримання полонених. І як ми знаємо, в Україні російські полонені утримуються по конвенції. Е, так, і як ми бачимо, вони виходять з ну, коли відбувається обмін, вони просто такі булочки, такі харі роз'їдені mm -hmm. них. І що відбувається з нашими полоненими, і ми ж розуміємо, що це важкі наслідки для здоров'я в подальшому, тобто це важка реабілітація і насправді, можливо, ви знаєте історію, де полонений з Азовсталі помер через півроку, як вийшов з полону, у нього не витримало серце. Е, тому це знову ж таки Росії не можна довіряти, Росія не дотримується жодних законів, mm -hmm. жодних конвенцій. І, yeah, і це result. просто тортури, а не просто перебування на іншій території, де тебе не випускають. Тобто це як фізичні тортури, так і mm. психічні тортури. Mm. Бо yeah. їм ми робили інтерв'ю, я не знаю, чи ви їх читали, mm. з сім'ями військовополонених. Не читав, чесно. От, е їм не дають зв'язуватися з сім'ями, mm -hmm. і за весь цей час, е от уже майже два роки, вони в полоні, і один раз е всім рідним прийшов е лист, було написано почерком їхніх рідних, mm -hmm. е жив-здоров, і це все, е тобто це весь зв'язок. Е е Якось їм дали, де, деяким, не всім, дали позвонити, змогу позвонити рідним. Але також було чути, що ну, над ними хтось стоїть, і вони, ну, тобто, 
ти можеш чути голос свого близької людини, але ти не можеш з ним відверто поговорити. Так. І це жахливо. І ще ті, хто повернулись з полону, розказують, що там Росія їм розповідає, що Україна вас скинула. Mm-hmm. Е, yeah. Тобто ви вже нікому не потрібні і так далі. Mm-hmm. Що також, я думаю, прирівнюється до психологічних тортур. Однозначно. Yeah. Ненавиджу Росію. Mm, yes, me too. Mm, I hate Russia too. For what they do. The terrorist state. Let's move to this one. This one is called Captivity, Planet of Vicera. Welcome. There's no problem. You can walk around and talk. Uh, we have mics here. They will help us uh, to be louder. <laughs> so this one is uh, by also Aziza. by Aziza. Aziza. Mm-hmm. And this one, this one is called Captivity, I Quench Thirst with Tears. Yeah, this one is, is very, very graphic and I think these symbols are easy to understand. Okay, so any comments on these two? Uh, <laughs> uh, well, okay, uh, they are pretty graphic and symbolic, so we can move to this one. Connected with Azovstal, this awesome. one, mm-hmm. this one, this and other one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want to tell me about this one? Uh, is it uh, the Tashka or no? Am I mistaken? Uh, maybe it is. It is one work of a young Ukrainian artist from Vyshgorod. Uh-huh. Also, his brother are now in the military, and all the time he's thinking: Is his brother in captivity? Is he alive? Maybe he have an ability to sit down and just drink hot tea. Now we have winter, and so we all understand that war is hard now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thank you, uh, guys. I wanna also mentioned that they have prices all these pictures uh, there's a QR code I'm gonna make it closer yeah, for you to be able to scan it right and this QR code uh, will uh, arrive us to the outer um, Instagram but mm-hmm. we can scan another QR okay this and QR code yeah. awesome this one. also we can buy um, families of Chernobyl uh, defenders uh, Merch? Yes. Yeah, merchandise. Uh, there's merchandise also through this QR code? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, guys, you see uh, a lot of prisoners of war, Ukrainian prisoners of war, who were on Chernobylska power plant, uh, they, nuclear power plant, they're in captivity, and we also need to free them, not only as of style defenders. Uh, many other, actually, units from many other directions were, uh, what is your name, by the way? Lisa. Uh, Lisa, nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for helping Darina to tell me uh, about these pictures. This is very important. I think people around the world must know what is happening in Ukraine and how, what, in what conditions our soldiers are being kept there. And uh, we must pressure Russia from all, all over the world uh, to bring them back, to exchange them. Because we have thousands of Russian prisoners of war here in Ukraine, but we don't have any um, you know, tortures, of course, no, but I was talking about, uh, I mean, we show all <laughs> that uh, people around the world know how we keep them there, uh, but we know nothing about our uh, soldiers who are there in Russian captivity. But I wanted to say that uh, we need to exchange them. Russia doesn't need them. Russia needs uh, only their prisoners as in the latest exchange they've exchanged um, just what 200 just prisoners uh, and 38 or 48 uh, soldiers Uh, 18 of them were wounded but um, we need to force them to change uh, to exchange not to change uh, to exchange their own to take them back and will receive uh, our men and women from captivity uh, and thank you very much for making this exhibition. So you are uh, the creators of it, right? Amazing. Um, I am really happy to show your work and work of authors, of course, 
to the people around the world. Uh, I will try to spread it as much as possible. My channel is not that big yet, but I will uh, do my best uh, to bring it out there. Thank you guys. Subscribe. What? Subscribe? Subscribe. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it, guys. We didn't uh, show you the whole um, pictures, but I got to run because Roman is waiting for me. Uh, thank you again and slow green. Thank you for watching, guys. I constantly forget that they are not pictures, they are paintings. So I apologize, I didn't mean to insult anyone. For those who didn't see the beginning of this video, I want to remind you that we're going to have an auction. One of these paintings are going to be auctioned on the stream this Sunday, 28th of January. Let me show you the painting. Here it is. It has no name. It was made in 2023 by Vadim Yuditsky. The starting price is $105. 50% of money raised will go to Hospitalieri. They are raising funds for Avstrika, the evacuation bus. By the way, guys, 50% of $105. I think everything we collect above that uh, will also go to Hospitalieri because the fundraiser is the priority. I think the author is expecting to get half of 4,000 hrymnas, not of any possible sum of money that we may raise. Okay, guys, uh, please also don't forget to watch the part one of this exhibition. There was a concert by amazing band uh, Zabavka and Dmitrik. And uh, glory to all the heroes in Russian captivity. They will come back home.